so today we are going to discuss about the very basics of stata we will be introduced okay, what are the different windows of stata are and how to function how to enter data into stata and in our next three four videos we would start the basic discussion basic analysis using stata so if you would like to learn stata it would be a good platform for you so we would request you to be very very attentive during the session so that we could uh, take your queries and we uh, we could uh, make this video useful for all of you so first of all i would like to say if you open the stata it would look like this one where the biggest window is called as the result or output window where you could see the basic information about your addition of uh, addition of stata and many other informations are available other than this you could see at the left side there is one window which is called the review window where whatever command you have used for your output or your data analysis it would be visible in this particular window now on the right side you could see there is one window which is named as variables window where all the variables which are there in your data set would be given here and just below the uh, variable window there are some properties window where you could see the properties of your data as well as your variable property here variable in the sense ke which variable you would select from here the same output or the characteristics of the properties of this variable would be visible here that is the name of the variable the level of it what is name what is level we discuss about it so other than this the type and format of the uh, variable everything would be visible here on the other hand the data you could see the data characteristics here the file name that means what is the name of your file then the level of it then how many variables are there if there is any note of your data it would be visible here observations and the size size in the sense how many uh, uh, kb or how many mb how many gb your data is it would be visible here and other than all these windows there is another window which is most important one the command window that means what whatever analysis you would like to do you need to give your command through this particular window you could see after clicking here the cursor starts blink blinking that mean this window is ready for work now apart from this you could uh, see there are file edit data graphics statistics user window and help tool given to you but the, here you need to understand three most important tools that we often use for our data analysis while we are using stata so you could see the first one is called the do file editor so this is the do file editor window so what is the work of do file editor we would discuss later but still to give some idea about it if you click on this particular do file editor window a uh, file like this would open so you could write all the comments here and you could run the comment very easily from this particular window let me clarify okay, why this window specifically required when you have a command window as well as you have a review window where all the comments you were writing here would be stored for you uh, but let me tell you other than data if you save from here a okay, file if you are saving from here then other than data nothing would be saved that means no output would be saved no command would be saved in your stata file so if you save from this window only your data would be saved to save the comments you were write, writing here you need to use the do file editor that means if you write your comments in do file editor and then run from there it would be very good for you you need not to worry whether what comment you have written and uh, what would be the output because sometime we write some comments today and we start working on the same data maybe few days later so in these circumstances this do file editor is very helpful so now the next window is 
the data editor window. So it's like a spreadsheet, Excel, uh, like Excel. So I'm uh, showing you, if you click on this particular do file editor, win sorry, uh, data editor window, it would be a spreadsheet like this, where you could see and edit your data. So there, there is another window, which is called the data browser. Here, you could only browse your data, you cannot change or edit your data. So the difference between these two is data editor edit, where you could edit your data. On the second window, that is data editor browse, you can browse the data, but you cannot delete, rename, or edit the data. So these three are very, very important window we often use. So other than this, how to actually save the output? Because I have showed you okay, from data edit, do file editor, you could save your comments, but how you could save your output, we'll talk in our next video. But uh, now for the time being, we would discuss about how to enter data in your Stata file. So there are three particular process we are going to talk in this particular aspect. First one, you can open your data editor edit window and you could enter your data like one, two, uh, two, three, four, five. It's like Excel sheet, you could use this. But if you would like to change the variable name, you have to go here and you have to give the name, say I'm giving the name as ABC. So you could see okay, when I have entered the data, you could see the name of the variable is ABC. It's a flow data. And by default, the format is uh, actually given up to nine digit level. So what is uh, dot? zero g we will discuss it later in our uh, other videos but for the time being to enter the data this is one method we apply now the next one we would like to do okay suppose uh, i'm going to show you a very first comment but the most dangerous comment that is clear so if i click uh, sorry write clear and just enter you could see the entire data that was entered by me would vanish. So be very careful when you are writing command clear, it would, without any notice, it would delete entire data set from your Stata file. So this is the first process, you could enter the data from your data editor edit. Now we would look at the second process. What is the second process? You could copy the data from anywhere, maybe in Excel or so, and then you could paste it. So for, the, for this demo, we have uh, one Excel spreadsheet we have already kept in our computer. So you'd use that. So it's taking some time to open the data. Just wait for some time. Oh, it's too slow. Yeah, now the data has come. So you could see in this data, we have a record up to cell number 75. That means if we say the first row is the variable name. So the variable name is given in the first row and rest of the 74 rows have data. So what we are doing, we are just copying this data and going back to the Stata file and we are opening the data editor again. And then we could click the right click on it or paste, uh, paste it or what we could do, we could just press Control V. So then after pressing that, we would get a window like this, which would actually ask you, okay, is the first row data or variable names? 
So we have seen in the Excel file, the first row is not our data, it's the variable name. So we would ask our data to treat the first row as data or first row as variable names. So the second option is correct for us. So we would click over here and you could see the data would come to your system. Okay. So in, this is the second way you could see that 74 rows are there. That means you have observation of 74. How many variables are there? There are 12 variables. So if you look at your Stata window, you could see in the variables, all the variables are listed here. There is no labeling and variables name are 12. Observation of 74, data size is 3.25 K, KB. So in this case, again, we would use, so this is the second process. We would use the command clear to clear the data window. So after clear, you could see there is no data in our system. So this was the second method, now the third method. So this is one method where uh, we, it would be applicable if you have a large data set. This is the most convenient method we are going to show you. So it is a specific command we would use. And through this method, we could actually um, uh, bring data into Stata format from CSV format, that is comma separated value. It is a special format of Excel, comma separated value we would use to bring the data from CSV format to Stata format. So the command we are writing here, be very careful what we are writing. It's INSET, I-N-S-H-E-E-T, INSET, then space using it should use the data from somewhere. So using U-S-I-N-G. So then you have to start the double inverted comma, double inverted comma, and then you have to give the path file where your data is. So I have already kept my data in this folder where you could see comma separated value is the file format of this data. We would actually try to, uh, take these data into data format. So this is the path file. So you could see how I'm taking the path file. I have opened the folder in the particular location of my computer, and then I'm clicking on the top of the ribbon, top ribbon of it, and then I'm just copying it. You could right click on and copy, or you could press Control C from your keyboard. So now you go back to your Stata and then Control V to paste it. So this is the path file, uh, path where my CSV file is there. So now after that, you have to use a backslash. So just above the enter, you could see there is backslash. So I'm giving the backslash. Now you have to write down the name of the file. So you could see the name of the file is D-E-M-O, demo, and D is in capital. So I'm writing here D-E-M-O, demo, dot CSV. Dot CSV is the file extension for comma separated value format. So that is why I'm writing demo dot CSV. And then I'm closing the Invited comma here, and then after I'm giving a comma here, then space, then I'm writing clear. So again, I'm repeating what is the command I'm using here. So I N S H E E T in seat space U S I N G using then double invited comma start path of the of a part of the file and then backslash then file name dot extension of the file that is dot csv then close the double inverted comma 
then give a comma then space then write clear c l e a r then enter so you could see there it's giving us the data if you open the data editor window you could see the data has come in your data editor window you could see okay, it has 12 variables it has 74 observations and file size is 3.25k so i am just showing you okay how this is going to work in your data editor and data browser so if you see i if i suppose here the third variable is mpg and the first observation is 22 i want to make it 2 i am just clicking 2 it's coming here and if you just click on other other places you could it would ask okay why uh, what whether you would like to apply the changes in the previous cell or not if you click yes it would automatically change so to uh, suppose i want it to make 22 again so i am giving 22 then again the same option would come yes you could change the data like this so this is data editor edit window okay now if you uh, try to open the data editor browser window you could see okay suppose the same variable mpg the first observation 22 i would i would like to make it 2 so i'm pressing 2 but it's not responding at all so here you could only see the data you cannot delete edit or anything you could do with this data here so this is about data browser and data editor now last one suppose these are the comments you have actually applied in your data so suppose you would like to save this command so you could do one thing you could copy it and go to your do file editor window and paste it there so then you could save it somewhere then your comments would be saved always if you just save it from here only the data would be saved no command would be saved okay so how to save the data then suppose this is my data set i would like to save so you have to go to file you have to click on save as and then it would ask you where would you like to save your data you have to give a name and click on save it would save your data for you so this is all about how to enter data and about various windows in your data file so if you would like to add some more windows if you have to click here you could see command window results window review window and properties graphs viewer data editor and many windows are there so if you click here the data uh, that particular kind of window would be available with you but in general most of the people who work with data love to watch data in this particular format okay i believe it's clear to all of you so thank you so much for watching our video and if it is really helpful for you we would request you to like and share our video and to motivate us please please subscribe our channel thank you so much all the best